Dominic Stern here with Mike Schwarn, right-handed pitcher, and Mike Schwarn is an all-star here in the American Association. What was the first thought that went through your mind when you were told you were going to be an all-star this season? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of thoughts, definitely. Um, coming back from those two years of, of surgery and rehab, um, first and foremost, just thankful to be playing the game again and, and have the opportunity to represent the Doc Hounds uh, in the all-star game. So that was awesome. And then two, just personally, like, I think it was more of a reflective moment um, going back to those two years and just kind of realizing everything that it's taken to get to this point. So it's just, you know, a nice little little point to kind of stop and smell the roses. Yeah, because, I mean, I we, we talked when I first got with the team. Yeah. You know, you didn't pitch at all in 2022. Correct. Didn't really pitch much in 2021. Yeah. Are you surprised at all at how well you've performed? Because I'm going to read them off, Mike. They're impressive <laughs> numbers. Nine starts. Seven of them are quality starts, and you would have had an eighth one, but you went back out for the seventh inning, uh, allowed a couple of runs, so it, yeah. <laughs> it, it didn't become a quality start, but it, it, in our mind, was a quality start. Across 55 and two-thirds innings, 44 strikeouts, just 19 walks, a 3.39 ERA, which is seventh in the league, and you're the league leader in complete games with that complete game shutout <laughs> on the 4th of July. I mean, do you ever, you're, you, you have to be like, wow, like, I didn't pitch for a long time, and now I'm yeah. putting up these numbers? I mean, definitely. Um, I'm just happy to go out and kind of give the team length, um, kind of whatever they need to, to get a win. Um, you know, first and foremost, as a pitcher, that to me, that's your number one job is to, you know, put the team in the position to win. Um, and, you know, more times than not this year, I've been able to do that. Um, so I'm thankful for that. Um, yeah, some of it t at times is kind of surprising, you know, because I've had that such long time off. Um, but honestly, it's just good to get back to what I've been able to do and just enjoying playing the game. Yeah, and a little bit behind the scenes, Mike and I have been trying to get this interview going, uh, <laughs> dating back to the last home stand. You know, it just didn't align. Uh, yeah. It happens. Yeah. But it worked out perfectly because your last time out, that 4th of July, complete game shutout. How good did it feel to go out there and get your second complete game, this time you got the win in this one. Normally, yep. when you play the complete game, you get the win. Your yeah. other one was a no-hitter, but a run did score, and the offense didn't put up any runs. How good did it feel to go out there and get your second one and get the win this time? Oh, I mean, it felt great um, You know, to, to be able to go all seven, especially for the team. Um, you know, That was huge. We needed that. And uh, to be able to just you know, more or less do my job out there, um, you know, it feels good. It feels good every time to go out there and put them in a, t in a position to win. Um, you know, I know we have great guys, you know, with the bats. So, you know, as long as I do my job, I know they'll, they'll take care of it on their end. Yeah. And then that was your s most recent complete game shutout. Yeah. The last one was August 14th, 2018. You're with the Pawtucket Red Sox. Yeah. Do you remember anything about that day? Uh, I believe, um, it had to have been like one of my first starts in triple A. Um, so kind of here, just trying to go out there and do my job, trying to get comfortable, you know, at the AAA level and whatnot. And, um, you know, I was fortunate to be able to throw that. Um, I, I remember it was, it was hot, it was a hot game, you know, <laughs> August sure up was. in Pawtucket. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, so I, I definitely remember it would be in hot. Um, I think it was another double header, um, you know, and more more or less i remember a lot of the guys from the team there it was a great team you know but um it was a fun experience for sure it's it's always fun when you can go seven and you know give up zero <laughs> yeah exactly and you mentioned triple a that year made it to the bigs the next year 2019 yeah. with the boston red sox you know, there's only around twenty thousand or so major leaguers we got one sitting right <laughs> here on this interview and it's not me my cleats have been up for four years uh, you know is there anything that you remember back on your time at the major league level um yeah i mean the guys were great to me up there. Um, you know, I was very fortunate to play with some of you know some of the guys that I looked up to growing up with. Um, you know, so that was really cool. And, and more so than not, it was just cool to see see how they worked. Um, you know, the day to day type things, um, and just see how professional they were. Um, you know, like these are guys that perennial all stars. Um, and those guys don't take anything for granted, um, you know, so I, I just try to be a, a sponge up there and, and soak in as much knowledge as I could. Yeah, Mookie Betts, Sandra Bogarts, Chris Sale, just to name a yeah. couple of decent <laughs> major leaguers. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> uh, and you, you talked about them putting in the work. Mm -hmm. I, you know, we see you out here at Wisconsin Marine Company Park. You're always working extra hard, and you mentioned it, the shoulder, the elbow. You, yeah. You've had some really tough injuries, you know. 
how hard do you work behind the scenes that a lot of these fans don't see so you can go out there and you can put in these good starts and continue to feel fresh each time you go out on the mound? Yeah, I mean, personally, I would say I probably don't work hard enough. <laughs> you know, there's always room for improvement. Um, but yeah, it's just the day to day, you know, like, um, it's always, it's always great to go out and, and perform and, you know, soak that in. But really, as soon as, you know, you get the ball taken away from you, you have to start getting ready for your next start. Mm -hmm. um, a game of baseball is that quick, you know. Um, you have five days to prepare and, and get ready for your next start, and there's a lot that goes into that, um, you know, mentally, physically, um, and, and just kind of reading the game still, like, We've talked about, I, I've taken a couple years off, you know, to, to get ready to come back. And um, I've been away from the game so long. So, you know, I take those four days in between seriously, you know, watching the game, studying the game, just trying to get back mentally, um, you know, mentally and physically. So, you know, every five days I'm, I'm ready to rock. And this Doc Hounds team continues to play better and better baseball. Obviously, you're not a part of this series because you just pitched mm -hmm. on Tuesday and your next start's going to come against the Sioux City Explorers. But this is a gigantic series against Kane County Cougars, yeah. team that's right in front of us in the standings. The season series is on the line, and this is the last time these two squads are facing off. You know, what does this Doc Hounds team have to do, at least from your eyes, from that first base dugout, yeah. to get this series and continue to play better baseball and make the playoffs for the first time in team history? Um, I think just continue to do what we're doing, um, you know, stay within ourselves and each day keep chipping away at it. I mean, we have a great group of guys. Um, I have all the faith in the world in them, um, you know, so we just got to trust in ourselves and continue to stick with our plan and, you know, keep it moving. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, anytime. Mike. First pitch, 6.05 between the Lake Country Dockhounds and the King County Cougars next on AABaseball.tv.